defensive analyst Greg Anthony and Steve Smith, and we'll be hearing from D.A. along the sideline all game long. D.A., it's all yours. Hey, Kevin, the Atlanta Hawks are a team trying to rise. With Trey Young shooting from the logo and setting the table, and John Collins banging on people's heads. Collins said, we're definitely going to have the best pick and roll chemistry in the league for years to come. We'll see about that, guys, but they are very promising. They're fun to watch, D.A., thanks. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out east already. We are in December. You look at Atlanta. They're in second, looking to take over the first spot. And, of course, there's the 76ers. They're much further down in the standings right now. And if you look at the Hawks right now, they're not an opponent any team wants to see on their schedule. They've been producing all season long. And, guys, I don't see them slowing down anytime soon. We figured that by this point in the season, they would have separated themselves from the pack. They've done that and more. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. Harrison and Bede hold down the post for him. Ben Simmons is out there with Matisse Thibel. And it's Green in at the small forward position. And for the Hawks, inside, it's Collins and Capella. Bogdan Bogdanovich is out there with Young. And it's Hunter in at the three spot. Greg, you were a feared ball hawk in your playing days, and I know you see similar players playing today. No doubt about that, uh, Kevin. You know, Ben Simmons, a player 6'10", with, with those hands. He's incredible to watch. How about Fred Van Bleek, though? He's a guy, they say he's 6'1". I don't know, but he gets into you and competes, man. And that's the beauty of our game. You know, you can be as big as the trees and, and have a major impact, or you can be one of those little fellas, as they like to call us, and be equally as effective on the floor. I like the Chris Balls, the Patrick Beverleys. There are a lot of those guys that play the, the ball like you did so well. Yeah, right. Great, great play. Now Embiid after the missed three from John Cohen. Good work defensively by Capella. Kicks to Bogdanovich. Into the lane. And so it's Harris who will bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Here's Simmons, and Bede's trying to break loose. Ben Simmons gets the bucket. Simmons got the first points on the scoreboard for Philadelphia. And loves to operate around the rim. Simmons' is tall frame helps him to beat defenders. Young with no one around. Good on the three-point shot. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Simmons feeling it out a bit. Passes it to Harris. Here's Fable. They get it back. And Capella sends it back. Opponents have to be careful when Capella's in the area. What an impressive display of timing. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Here's Simmons. Takes it inside. How about the head of steam he's able to generate right there and just gets to the rack really easy. Pass to Bogdanovich. Now Capella. And there's the call on Matisse Rival. That's his first foul. So it's the Hawks now. They trail by one. And it's Bogdanovich off the drive. Just five on the clock. Young from outside. Again, Young missing. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that took. And the amount of pressure that Trey Young puts on the defense is staggering. He's either carving you up with his passing or hitting you with that jump shot. You know, G.A. Trey Young is the type of player that can lead this league in scoring and in assists. And also, possibly could do it in the same season. For a youngster, he sees a lot of double teams. It's impressive how he handles it. Atlanta with the ball after the Sixers pick up two. Collins pushes to Young. And he drives in. And here's Bogdanovich with three. He's now one for two with that bucket. Look at the pass from Hunter. Wanting to get 
get his teammates involved. To the left wing. And Reed against Capella. Outside, Green. For the three. The shot, no good. Boxing on two and six in the field. Simmons against Young. And it's blocked by Simmons. How about the balance and body control? Simmons able to send that one. Okay. And they bump this quarter. He's trying to shoot his way out of it. Now here's Simmons. Six points for him. Here's Embiid. Green kicks to Simmons. Here's Embiid. Yes, that goes in. And you've got to admire the toughness that Embiid plays with. He doesn't let fouls stop him from scoring. The 76ers shooting their first free throw of the game right now. And as a group, they shot 75% from the line last season. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. The free throw drops for MB. Really an underrated part of Embiid's game. Excellent as a foul shooter for a seven-footer. So you just can't hack away at it. Now, here's Collins. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Young from deep three-point range. Now just one for seven with that miss. Tough night so far. They keep calling his number, which is partly how they've dug this hole. Here's Embiid, and that one's good. His second basket of four, shooting 50%. This is where Tobias has really improved, keeping his eyes up, making plays for others. And now the first time out called here for the Hawks. Well, fans can be impatient, Greg, especially for the fans of teams that are slow to start a season. Right, right. he performed last season put up about 15 points per three assists and three rebounds yeah, he's been making the right decisions and, and letting the game come to him solid play all around he's not trying to take over necessarily he's just taking what the defense allows and contributing to the cause Young, good. you know what struggling a little bit but i do command the effort two of eight from the field let's see if that one gets him going and here is Simmons. This time out, he had 14 points. Connects from three-point range. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. The Hawks trail by six. Now, here is Young. That's the free fly. That shot goes in. He now has three field goals and six misses today. We knew this was coming. Trey Young getting back with the three ball. Give me back that momentum. Now the pass to Embiid. Shoots over Capella. Embiid, no good. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. And it's Bogdanovich off the try. And Atlanta again with the button. And he should thank the team for those two points. Nobody paid much attention to him on that play. I'm left to the wing. And beat inside. Capella covering. And there's the call on John Collins. That'll be his second.
second foul of the game. He was too aggressive. That's already his second foul. We haven't even gotten out of the first quarter. Alinari, he's checked in for the Hawks. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Curry's checked in for Matisse Thibault. Tobias attack like this. You see the solid hops, the length, proven he's not just a perimeter threat. Now, here is Young in the game against Orlando. Very impressive. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. Simmons against Young. Simmons passes to Harris. And Bede with the screen on Gallinari. Five on the clock. Takes the three. And it's hauled in by Clint Capella. His inability to make shots has not brought this team down. That shows you their resourcefulness. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And the second season for Trey Young. Just unreal. Pulling off amazing performances at such a young age. Trey, just how good do you think he can be? You know, Kevin, Young will be viewed as a top point guard in this league for a long time. When it's all said and done, might be one of the best point guards in league history. Certainly is on his way to being one of the best shooters to ever play. One of the most exciting, memorable players in college basketball history. Trey Young is incredible. And the Hawks making a change here. Herders checked in. Then for the 76ers, Howard comes in for Tobias Harris. And it's Jake Milton in for Danny Green. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw. Well, it was the Hawks winning their last game against the Magic. And we find Simmons. Plays it up and makes it in. And it's eight points for Ben Simmons. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Here's Young. He takes it in. Rebound by the 76ers. They put up a nice win against Detroit the last time out. And bottom line, they found ways to score. Credit the game plan going in. It was right on the money. They knew that the arena would be rocking. And if they could execute well on the offensive end, they knew they could quiet down this hostile crowd. Gallinari, a screen on Simmons. Here's Young on the arc. And it's Gallinari missing. The 76ers leading by seven. High post, MB. Capella's there. Oh, and a fast break for Atlanta. And here's Young from the arc. Sinks the three-pointer. Young's got 12. Trying to slice into this deficit every time up the floor. Terrific quarter for him. Pass to MB. And here is Howard. Philadelphia moving the ball over. A nice shot by MB. He has seven. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside.
Capella. You know, these are the guys you need to be aware of. If you don't want your pocket picked, <laughs> here are last season's steals leaders. Ben Simmons, number one. Second is Chris Dunn. And with all the steals these two came away with, they probably put a thought in the back of every opponent's head, and it wasn't a very good thought. Now, here is Young. He's got 12. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Passes to Embiid. Howard with it. Pass to Embiid. Over Gallinari. Embiid, no good. Once he gets the ball there, you expect him to capitalize. That was a missed opportunity. Hunter dishes to Young. From deep three-point range. Rebound by Joel Embiid. Embiid's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. And Simmons kicks to Embiid. Get there, get there. Here's the pass to Milton. And here is Howard. Going on recovering. Here's Milton. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will be taking possession. A moment here now to see the numbers for Trey Young. He's coming off an excellent season. Second in assists. And as one of the NBA's top five scorers, you also can't forget what an outstanding year he had offensively. And back to him finishing runner-up in assists, his court vision, his ability to control the pace of the game makes him especially impossible to defend. And once he gets clear off the screen, there is no stopping him. <laughs> no, not when there's a flush waiting to happen. That's a big-time move and a big-time finish. Here's Young. Plays it up off the glass. Young's got 14 points. Another area where Young excels, using the dribble to create space for his shot. In the pass to Embiid. A minute 50 left to play in the first quarter. Six on the shot clock. They get a hand on it. Howard trying to free himself up. One on the clock, and Howard with the stuff. And Howard, always one of the top offensive rebounders in the league. And so it's Young who brings it up with the Atlanta Hawks. Eight point game. This one for three. Barry's the long range jumper. He's got 17. They're still behind, but not because of his efforts. He's been unbelievable this quarter. 7 left to play in the first quarter. Here's Max. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. You know, on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. Pass to Herder. And it's Rondo in the corner. Always going up for the alley -oop here. Herder, no good. Well, that alley you can tell the case of what could have been just didn't finish the play. No, this is something you practice over and over again. I'm surprised they couldn't execute. Now, here's Maxi. And it's Dwight Howard with the finish. Yeah, and it only takes a little effort on behalf of Howard to rise up for the flush, using that size and strength to jam it down. And sent back by Howard. And so the ball out of bounds. Howard touched it last. Mark Miles, he's jacked in for Philadelphia. Twenty seconds left to play in the first. And here's Young from the arc. Rebounded by Howard. Now, Milton. With one on the clock. And so, it's Ben Simmons making highlights for the Philadelphia 76ers. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And we spoke with 
Joel Embiid earlier. He hopes to set an example for those who want to follow in his footsteps. It's about the uh, At the end of the day, you come here, you want to make an impact, and you know, share your story with everybody. Uh, and so, you kind of pushes everybody back home in the whole continent to want to do the same thing. Well said. Certainly, Greg Embiid puts himself front and center, willing to lead the cause on and off the floor. And this is where his big personality comes from. He has a larger than life quality that really just captivates people. And if you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the 76ers. Guys, their willingness to attack the basket so far has been great. They're penetrating, buying the holes in the defense, and scoring from close range. Yeah, also, they've done a good job of pounding the offensive glass for second chance. Inside, it's Collins and Capella. Bogdan Bogdanovich is out there with Trey Young. And it's Gallinari in at the three. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. Now, here's Green. Popped up there for Howard, and it's Howard finishing it off. The veteran presence of Danny Green keeping his eyes up, finding his teammate wide open. Young drives in. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one on Maxi. Greg, not all drafts are the same in terms of talent. 2019 was a year to remember. No doubt about it. I mean, transcendent talent at the top. You think of Zion and, and Ja. Both could be future league MVPs. And the irony is that those two guys were teammates in high school. Go figure. Yeah, go figure is right. First one, Foster. First time checked in for Atlanta. And Simmons, he's checked in for Philadelphia. And so Young nails them both. And we play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. Right wing. Korkmaz kicks to Simmons. Collins against Harris. Count it. Harris has got his second bucket of the game to go. A big part of what makes Harris a more physical player right now is he has filled out his frame and he is able to finish through contact. A nice shot by Young. And despite the hot start from beyond, they've gotten away from shooting the triple. Simmons passes to Howard. Harris looking it over. Howard setting the pick for Harris. Rebound by the Hawks. Cabela's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And it's Bogdanovich in the corner. Here's Young. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Simmons got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling there. Outside Cullen. He kicks it to Young. A floater, and the layup is up and in. Young's got six points in the quarter. Ooh, that teardrop, one of Trey Young's signature shots. He could teach a course on it. Well, John Collins has the potential to be a star for this team. Continues to be a powerhouse on the offensive end. He can tag from inside as well as outside. And Collins said so himself. He believes he'll be a max contract player when he hits free agency. You know what, G.A.? I love the confidence from him. And you look year to year, his Take numbers a are improving a at an unbelievable rate. He just might get that max contract. The first one falls. Slowly but surely, Harris continues to elevate his game. The shooting, the playmaking, the ability to make a difference. Hunter's checked in for Trey Young. Seth Curry, he's checked in for Philadelphia. And 
looking good on the second, so he makes them both. The Hawks trail on the seven. Down outside. This is the Hunter. Right to the hoop. That's in. Coming off an assist from Dunn. What I like is when Chris Dunn keeps his poise, keeps his eyes up, good things happen. And it's Howard finishing it off. And Howard has great timing on these alley-oops. As long as the pass is spot on, he's clear for takeoff. Dunn dishes to Bogdanovich. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. The Hawks shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Real good, Bogdanovich. And that's good as he hits both of the shots. So many people know your story, born and raised in Las Vegas. It must have been an amazing feeling then to lead UNLV to its only championship. I mean, Kevin, you know, playing in front of so many people you know has its pros and cons. Right. But to be a part of that 1990 championship team and the only one we've been able to hoist and to have my jersey hanging in that rafter, it, it's humbling and yes, it brings back a lot of fun. Like historically good, right? When you think of that team, what that meant, it was a historic place. It was, uh, we felt like we were able to etch our mark in terms of the lures of the game of college basketball. Matisse Thibel checked in for Green. Out of bounds, only 76ers ball. The league's long distance partners are setting their sights on the three point contest this season. Here are some of the early favorites to make up the field. And I love the way the voting is shaping up, Kevin. We'll have an excellent contest if these are the shooters who are firing away on All Star Weekend. You take a look at Hunter. He's got a place in the three point contest within his reach. I hope he makes it because I know how much this would mean to him to be a part of the event. I mean, that's a good call, Kevin. He's the type of player that can really deliver on a stage like that. He'll be very dangerous if he ultimately gets in. And it's going to be an exciting showcase this year. Some incredible shooters. That's for sure. We'll keep you updated as we find out more. Yeah, and I think we're in for a real treat. I, I think the increased importance of the three-point shot in today's game has really shined a light on the talent, precision, and, and really the wow factor of how these guys can drill the long ball. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Oldman. Hey, thanks very much, Dennis. Pete Capella is a seven-footer in track shoes. He said, I always try to have that pace. Whenever I sprint, I have an impact on the offense. I try to focus on that and keep my energy up. Guys and guards love big men who run the floor as hard as Capella. That's good. He is indeed, David, very athletic. Thanks. Here's Dunn. After the main shot from John Collin. And there's the whistle. That goes on Chris Dunn. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. Philadelphia leading by three. Heibel with the ball. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Simmons' shot is good. And how about the performance we're seeing from him? Not one miss on the day. Outside, Bogdanovich. Rejected by Harris. Great position on that play from Tobias. Challenging the shot and getting a piece of it. Curry with a wide open look. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. 
Simmons got four assists in the game. The Hawks trail by seven. Ten minutes left. A three from Bogdanovich. Rebounded by Howard. Howard's got his sixth rebound on the night. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the back row. Shot. And here now is Fiber. On the wing. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. And here's John. He'll bring it up for Atlanta. They come into this one having outplayed the Magic last game. And the difference in that one, the efficiency from range. They really focus on getting good looks. And if it wasn't there, each guy was willing to make the extra pass. Trust in his teammates. A nice shot by Harris. He's a fluid athlete who knows what he's doing. Nice finish by Tobias Harris in transition. Outside Bogdanovich. Done with a screen on crew. And it's Bogdanovich off the ground. And checking out some numbers for Ben Simmons. Last season, he played outstanding. First in steals, sixth in assists. And he was such a reliable option offensively, finishing in the top 10 in field goal percentage. And as you said, first in steals last season, you have to say he's the best ball hawk in the league right now. It, it may not even be close. Two shots. Last in the first. He's off on the first. After having no trips to the free throw line in the first period, he's being much more aggressive now. So for the Hawks, Okong Wu's checked in for Clint Capella. Kevin Herter comes in for John Collins. Rajon Rondo is subbed in for Chris Dunn. Joel Embiid, he's checked in for the 76ers. Shake Milton comes in for Curry. And he sinks the second. The 76ers leading by eight. Over to the wing. Now here's Embiid. 26 points for him last game against the Pistons in Detroit. Rondo looking around. The 76ers have gone 7 of 15 from the field here in the second quarter. Just under 50% shooting. Pass to Harris. 76ers moving the ball around. Thibault kicks to Harris. With the drive, hangs in midair and converts on the double clutch layup. Harris has got the lead up to 10 now for the 76ers. So it's Atlanta now. Pass to Hunter. Makes it off the clutch. Hunter's got four points now in the quarter. Beautiful footwork and agility. DeAndre does damage down low. Here's Simmons. He's got 12. Feeds it to MB. Six feet out. He can't get it to go. So Anna will take it the other way. Oh, that's blocked. Now, Milk. The pass to fight. He dishes it to Embiid, and he finishes nicely on the way. Embiid's got nine. And hit on the way up. Embiid's strong physically, but also mentally able to keep his focus. Rondo finds Bogdanovich. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. Feibel with the pass to Simmons. Here's Feibel. to Embiid. Shot clock at six. Over Okongwu. And he can't bank that one in. The Hawks drill by ten. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, their offense has ground to a standstill. A nice shot by Bogdanovich. One of the more instinctive passes over the last decade. Rondo quickly locates the open man. Pass to Embiid. And Embiid Hooks it down. That gives him the double-double. 11 points and 11 rebounds. Well, taking it to the rack. 
with power, hammering down the two-hand slam. Check in for DeAndre Hunter. Young is subbed in for Bogdanovich. Then for the 76ers, Cork Moss, he's checked in for Matisse Thibel. And Maxi's subbed in for Ben Simmons. Hondo with it. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Floats one. Shot is good in the 76ers. Lead is coming down now to just eight points with the basket from Young. Uh, a tough start scoring the basketball, but they're starting to turn it around. Now, here's Maxi. Here's MP. Again, MB missing. He operates well in traffic, but still, that's just a tough play to finish. 137 left in the second quarter. Driving inside. Five to shoot. There's the three. Herder, no good. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that position. Now, here's Maxi. He's looking for Embiid and finds him. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Embiid's got the lead up to 10 now for the 76ers. And Young kicks to Gallinari. This is a cool car move. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Young up top, defended by Milton. Young's shot is good. There's 48 seconds left in the first half of basketball. And here's Maxi. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Pocket six. Pass to Court Miles. On deep. Atlanta with the rebound. On the outside. Point range. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Young. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers in the driver's seat. Up eight points at the end of the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Hey, Kevin, thanks. Joel, you've got the lead, so how do you build on that as the game continues? Uh, just keep being, uh, being aggressive. Uh, I thought we did a good job defensively, so we just got to keep being aggressive and make it play. Hey, they always build off of their defense here. Thanks for your time, man. Back to you, Kevin. 
All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Philadelphia finds themselves ahead after two quarters. They have a solid eight-point lead. And over to Shaq. What did you think about Philadelphia? They're in good shape thanks to the work they're doing on the glass. Uh, their effort has been excellent. The numbers are too. And I don't see those numbers dropping off. They're going to keep doing the dirty work in the second half. And Kenny, what do you think about Atlanta? Their inaccuracy from behind the arc was brutal. Shot selection? I didn't see any. The perimeter offense they're running? You could scrap that. They need to get back to the basics. Pound it inside. More pick and roll. Try to pick up some easy buckets in transition. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. It's been one outstanding game from Trey Young. Well, through the first two, he has been nothing short of a marksman from deep. What can you say? Shooting is a premium in this league, and you can see why. The 76ers leading by eight. Now we've got a moment that's set the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade All Field Up for the second half. Taking a look at the 76ers. Harrison and Bede hold down the post for him. Simmons is out there with Matisse Thibel. And it's Green in at the three spot. Thibel can't get it to go. And so it's Bogdanovich who brings up the ball for the Hawks. Young's shot is good. The charisma, the superhuman workload. Trey Young is built for stardom. The pass to Embiid. The dish to Green. Now, here's Thibault. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And Clint Capella is going to pick up the foul. That's foul number two for him. Green left side. Knocks it loose. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. And stolen by Hunter. Young against Simmons. And Young, and here we go. And he banks in the lane. Young's got four points in the quarter. Have they been effective at hitting the ball inside? And, and Smitty, if, if I'm coaching DeAndre Hunter, I'm making him watch nothing but take a quiet. He has that type of body and can aim to be that kind of play. Yeah, I totally agree. Both were lauded as mostly defensive players as rookies. Hunter showed he has some shiftiness to his game offensively. I think he has the chance to be on the same level at the end of the day as Kawhi Leonard. No harm in having that as a goal. Here's Bogdanovich after the main shot from Joel Embiid. Bogdanovich, and he drops in the way up on the glass. Bogdanovich has got 12 points in the game. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. Pass to Embiid. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. In the corner is Hunter. Fires from deep. It's held in by Harris. Philadelphia leading by four. Simmons passes the fight. Embiid gets to Harris. Passes it to Fiber. Down to five on the shot clock. The three-pointer no good. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of his goal spell, but the struggles continue. You know, to me, this is when you want to focus on creating for others. Give someone else a chance. It's called a teammate. Young, no good. 
meeting right at the rim. He typically converts in those situations. Not this time. Indeed, Brian Simmons. Here's a lob for Harris. Trying to go for an alley -oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Young with the ball. Converted by Simmons. Young passes to Capella. Back to Young. Collins, a screen on Simmons. Here's Young. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And last season for Capello, wasn't that easy. Had his year cut short to injury. Never got the chance to suit up with his new team in the Hawks. This is his third trip to the free throw line. Take a break. And Take last break. season, 86% from the line so he's always had that calm presence at the line no matter the situation first free throw is good and with Capella and the Hawks both are excited for this season and on paper Capella seems like a great fit can finish inside pairs well with John Collins and Trey Young and Capella could be the difference maker to get this team back in the playoffs catching up on the changes for Philadelphia Howard check in for Harris. And it's Seth Curry in for Matisse Thibault. Money from the strike. He does a great job night in and night out. Pass to Howard. Outside Curry. Let's it go from deep. Rebound by the Hawks. Capella's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. And stolen by Simmons. And again, Philadelphia takes it over. Making a change here. Dunn's checked in. The Hawks trailing to the middle and stolen by Simmons. To stop the drop. Oh, the power oh, is And anytime he comes up with a steal, Simmons has the speed to turn it into a quick, fast break. And if he can take it all the way himself, he'll do it. Now, oh, here's Hunter. Outside Collins. Kicks it to Young. Just five to shoot. Over Simmons. And once again off the mark by Atlanta. The 76ers leading by four. And Curry has it in the corner. A three off the mark. The Hawks have gone three and six in the third quarter. 50% from the field. Capella with a screen on Simmons. Young uses the glass to finish the way. Young's got eight points here in this quarter does a good job of making quick reads and quick decisions on ball screens. Young always looking under control. Now here's Green. He feeds it to MB. Good work defensively by Capella. And so it's Young who brings it up for the Hawks. Just four points. That's all they've given up here in the second half. That evens the score. Young's got ten points here in the second half. You can see their confidence growing. They have reason to believe. Yeah, the reason is they tied it up. But it took a lot of focus and a lot of energy. We'll see if they can sustain this effort. The bounds, Atlanta takes possession. with possession. They're on a 12-4 run. Outside Collins. Here's Hunter. He kicks it to Dunn. Six to shoot. There's the drive. And there's the pass to Hunter. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Philadelphia's got a blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Out of bounds, Atlanta takes possession. Alinari, he's checked in for DeAndre Hunter. And Atlanta has possession. 
By two. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Simmons passes to Green. And there's the feature and beat. Back to Green. Shot clock at six. Here's Simmons. And they had their chances. Two offensive rebounds, but they still come up empty. Done. No points in the game in for him. Here's Capella. That shot, no good. Good D by Embiid. A tight game here in Atlanta. Curry looking around. And it's Howard finishing it off. And how about the incredible timing on that alley -oop? He absolutely hammered it down. Here's Young. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. One item that stood out, their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, it makes it really hard to defend. Atlanta with the ball. They're on a 14-6 run. Done against Curry. The jump hook. Got that bucket. Done. He's got the lead up to two now for the Hawks. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Now here's MB. He's got 15. And with off the charts awareness, Simmons makes plays that others simply don't see. For Atlanta, they've gone 7 of 13 in the third quarter so far. Just above 50%. Simmons against Young. This is the Gallinari. Using his height and length there to prevent the second chance opportunity. Simmons with it. 14 points for him. And there's the call on John Collins. And that'll be his third foul so far. Kevin Herter, he's jacked in for Atlanta. Rondo comes in for Trey Young. And the 76ers also making a change. Maxi's checked in. Philadelphia with the ball. That time in the shot that would have put them on top. Atlanta's gotten blank from three point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Now on the outside. Outside Rondo. Going inside. He gets it in there. And the Hawks lead by two. What passion from Rondo on that drive. Just relentless on how he takes it straight to the defense. Simmons passes to Green. Back to Simmons. It's a nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Goes up the baseline. And that one goes long. And so it's Dolinari with it. He'll bring it up for Atlanta. He dishes it to Rondo. And so it looks like the Hawks will return possession here. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. Well, it's a player's league, but certainly coaching has its place. Yeah, if that weren't the case, you wouldn't see so many coaching changes in the offseason.
the 76ers. Tobias Harris comes in for Danny Green. And it's Shake Milton in for Seth Curry. Pass to Capella. Audition out to Rondo. Out to Gallinari. Let's it go with the three. Basket is good. The assist from Rondo. Gallinari's got the lead up to five now for Atlanta. Philadelphia's gotten off to a very slow start from three point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. Simmons finds Milton. Pass it to the beat. And here's Maxi. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Kept alive. And he's been a force on the glass all game long. He has led this team in rebounding and also taken on the role of enforcer. Now, here's going on. Down low. Here's O'Connor. Gallinari, very unselfish, draws a lot of defensive attention, which often leads to open teammates. With the fadeaway. Atlanta with the rebound. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. But you've seen they've made numerous attempts to try to get him going. Shows how valuable he is to this offense. And here's Gallinari outside. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. It's incredible. And I'll tell you what, it's a joy to watch. There's more to this game than threes and dunks. Feeds it to MB. Kicks to Harris. Spins on the wing. Shot clock at two over Gallinari. It's good. And the Hawks lose get down to five on the bucket from Ben Simmons. He's an absolute gym rat. Simmons is relentless in his pursuit to dominate really all phases of the game and improving with his scoring. Now, here's Capella. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Little turnaround, and Philadelphia grabs the miss. Simmons got his eighth rebound here tonight. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. The pass to Embiid. Here is outside. Now here's MB. Not a lot of room. Ajahn Rondo with the rebound. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Hawks lead by five. We'll be back shortly live from State Farm Arena. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? Execution. This is what you practice every day. These guys are professionals. Beautiful play. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. They've got John Collins. Hunter is out there with Gallinari. And it's Young. And it's Bogdanovich in a shooting guard. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. The 76ers trail by five. Maxie passes to Milton. Now, here's Maxie. Pass to Embiid. And here's Maxi. And Trey Young gets the whistle that time. That is his first call of the game. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistles. And Philadelphia making a change here. Curry's checked in. Now, here's Maxi. Pass to Embiid. Trying to break that ice cold streak and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. 
That one on call. And we know how good Embiid is at drawing fouls, especially in the painted area. He welcomes the contact. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for Atlanta. From mid-range, they've been on fire today. Those jump shots have been falling all game. Yeah, but also give them credit for the layups they've had tonight after a strong drive to the basket. And he knocks down the first one. Good on both. Because he knows he makes a living at the line, he invites contact and sometimes even initiates it. Here's Young. And there's the try. That one's on. Young has got 39. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. Here's Maxi. That one's not going to go. And Atlanta will come the other way. Just a couple. Allen on the outside. Back to Collins. Over and B. Shot by Collins, no good. The 76ers trail by five. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. The pass to Maxi. Six on the shot clock. Here's Court Miles. Hangs home the trifecta. Confident and composed on the three-point shot at a critical juncture. Young pass to Collins. Bogdanovich dishes the arm. To the inside. Rolls it down if the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. That one on Maxi. The power and the tenacity that this kid shows. Hollis not to be denied. Matisse Thibault checked in for the 76ers. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. What's interesting about John Collins, he plays fast, but he's also measured in his approach. The 76ers trail by five. Pass to Court Mons. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Curry outside gets the three-pointer to fall. Yeah, that's two bombs in a row from long range. For Atlanta, they've gone two or four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. And Young kicks to Gallinari. Outside Cowan. Dishes it to Bogdanovich. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. And boy, have they been hitting the backboard in this game. What? Kind of surprising it's such a tight game. A shot by Curry, no good. Okay, that's frustrating. You work hard to get these open looks. You know he liked that one. But from now on, how many threes he drained in the first half, especially considering he's hit none since. Here's Court Mons. Looks one up. And it's John Collins with the rebound. Embiid against Young. Here he goes. And he uses the glass on the way. Young's got 41. With that tight handle, Trey Young can get anywhere on the court he wants to go. This is it to Harris. Now here's Embiid. He's guarded by Collins on the left block. That one's in there. The Hawks' lead has cut down to two points now on the basket from Embiid. And that's right in his wheelhouse. Looking to make an impact when it counts. It's the fourth quarter and it's a close game. You want to get the ball to someone you can rely on. Down the stretch. This is when they need him the most. And he is delivering. Pass to Embiid. Here's Cork Bonds. Now 
Thibel. The pass to Embiid. Back to Thibel. Takes a three. Hits it from three-point range. Thibel's got his first three points of the game. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here. Defending the triple. Young pass to going up. And there's the call on Matisse Thibel. That's foul number two for him. Danny Green, he's checked in for Kortmaz. Passed to Bogdanovich. Driving to the basket. It's hauled in by Thibel. Whoops. Got caught in between moves there on his way to the rack. Passes it to Embiid. And they double up Embiid. Pass to Curry. Five to shoot. Pass to Embiid to take the lead. Rebound by the Hawks. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into a no Two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Able to see the entire floor. Young gets a lane and he takes it. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. Impeccable hook from the line since halftime. And the Hawks making a change here. Capella's checked in. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. The 76ers trail by three. Curry with it. Pass to Harris. Now, here's Thibel. Here's Embiid. It's hauled in by Clint Capella. And so Young will bring it up for Atlanta. Outside Cowan. He kicks to Bogdanovich. Young outside. Just five on the clock. Collins setting the pick for Young. Sinks the triple. Young's got 48. Dominating when it matters most. Give him the ball and get out of the way. change here. Simmons has checked in. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, during the break, we're listening in on Doc Rivers talking to the team. He told his guys, tempo. More tempo. We've got to be quicker into transition. Push the ball. Let's get some opportunities before their defense can set up. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Now, here's Green. Outside Curry. 
Here's the drive. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Trey Young. Yeah, the defender all over. The first one at the line is good. And both free throws good for Curry. Wow, they made every free throw here in the second half. Here's Young. Rejected by Harris. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Harris. Philadelphia on D. Young from outside. And Curry pulls it down. To the paint. Wants to get it to Simmons and does. Count it. 18 points for Ben Simmons. And you don't want to allow too many of those short with the game right now in the balance. Simmons. A on Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. Seventy Sixers trailing. Simmons passes to Green. And Bead kicks to Green to take the lead. Rebounded by Capella. Capella's got his 16th rebound on the night. Simmons against Young. And there's the try. Yet another bucket. My goodness. 50 for the eight. Yep, he is putting on a show. And for a long time, Atlanta had been searching for a legitimate center. Seems like they found their guy in Clint Capella. Yes, and Clint One Capella shot. is limited offensively, but that's not his job. What Clint Capella does do, he does very well. He's a terrific rebounder, and he will have a lot of room to finish at the rim, as he does with power. And here is Simmons. Here is outside. Outside curl. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Harris has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. Capella trying to free himself up. Oh, good on the three. Hasn't been able to dial it in from distance. He has just the one three. And that was in the first half. Lead away. And he overshot that one, missing. Talk about hurting your team. I mean, he just can't get anything to go out there. Bogdanovich passes it to Collins. He dishes it to Young. Here's the two drop. Young hits Kirk. Passes to Green. To tie it up. Curry shot his off. Man, at what point do you blame the play calling more than the player? Outside, Bogdanovich. Carries it from three-point lane. And the Hawks lead by six. Just check out the people who just need enough guys on the floor who can make that shot. And stolen by Hunter. They push it up for on three. 
And it's DeAndre Hunter with the foul. That's his first foul. Yeah, first turnover of the game. Overall, though, he's been rock solid. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. Timeout called the 76ers. And during this timeout, I'm sure they'll be hydrating themselves with Gatorade. All the effort out there on the floor, and these timeouts can be such a huge factor in getting a short rest and recharging the game. ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. Simmons. Simmons got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Young against Simmons. Young finds in. Tight side Bogdanovich. It's good. Bogdanovich has got five points in the court. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. Simmons, the bounce pass. Eight feet away. No good. Shot missing. Good work defensively by Capello. Embiid against Young. Going inside. Tanked in off the glass. Young's got 53. Unlike some great perimeter shooters, Trey Young is consistently probing for the best look. Curry against Bogdanovich. And Capella sends it back. Collins dishes to Young. And the layup for And now it's a 10-point Hawks lead. He's fearless. Trey Young knows he's probably going to take contact. And it doesn't matter at all. There's Embiid. Off the left rim and out. And so Young will bring it up for the Atlanta Hawks. Up to the right wing. Curry is a nice deep. The 76ers trail by 10. Outside, Simmons. Gotta admire the hard work. Simmons, a genius. They draw him to 
good, and that brings them within single digits. The 2018 Rookie of the Year, Simmons' NBA career got off to a great start, and he's only continued to improve. And the second free throw, no good, a tough break there. No way he is happy with himself right now. He knows he has to knock every shot down at this point in the game. Young pass to Capella, and the tough by Capella. Impressive job by the players, coaches, and don't discount the impact of these fans. They gave the team tremendous energy tonight. The fans were fantastic. It was a true home court advantage. Here's MB following the bucket by the Hawks. And Simmons slams it in. Throw it down, young fella. Simmons is explosive and without a doubt, one of my favorite dunks. On the pass to Bogdanovich. Capella gets to Bogdanovich. It's not going to go for him. Curry with the defensive end. Guys, let's just go ahead and call this one. It's over. They could make enough plays when it mattered. Interesting game, though, in terms of some of the matchups. Here is Young. And so the Hawks take the win. Some good competition with the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the, the first step to becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and this is what they came out to do. And now, let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Kevin. Trey, you guys had a look in your eyes tonight, so how satisfying was this win? I mean, it feels great. It feels great getting the win. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, I'm just here to help my team win, whoever we're playing against, and uh, that, that's all I care about. Well, you all certainly did what you had to to get this win, man. Congratulations. Kevin, back to you. All right, David, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you later.